Mr. Rajesh Chandra Singh is a fisheries graduate and an entrepreneur promoting sustainable ecosystem based shrimp farming in the state of Goa with the support of ICAR SEBA. He is a pioneer in aquaculture and the face of shrimp farming in Goa and the Konkan region. Respected dignitaries on dais, DDD, ICA, Dr. Jana, respected director of SEBA, Dr. Vijayan, and respected scientists, respected farmers, respected aquaculture consultants, and my friends. A very good evening to you all. Myself, I am going to, uh, I would like to first of all congratulate SEBA and I would like to thank them to giving me an opportunity to share my experience of last 25 years in aquaculture. I am very proud to be a part of this industry and from last 25 years I am serving this. I am a graduate, fisheries graduate from Govind Vallapant University of Agriculture and Technology, Pantnagar. And I am very proud my advisor is present over here, Dr. V. S. Chandrasekharan, who was my advisor. Thank you, sir. I have learned prawn farming. I have learned first word prawn, actually. He was a, he, like I learned prawn farming like theoretically from Dr. V. S. Chandrasekharan. Later on, as I completed my degree, I got placement in the Water Base Limited and practically I learned from the Water Base Limited tiger prawn farming. I got an experience in farms, in hatchery and in feed marketing. So as we have covered, I was covering the whole west coast from Gujarat to Kerala. So we have a different experiences of different farmers as we visit farmers. We go to different farmers and we have different problems and different areas, what problems are going on. So we have covered all those and in 1999 I started my own prawn farming, my aquaculture and I started feed distributing, helping farmers, giving them free consultancies. Our, myself, we have started giving, I uh, started with the two ponds, actually two hectare area doing tiger prawn farming in year 1999 and by grace of God got a good crop and built up a confidence. Later on started helping farmers from two, two farmers to now we have got, so at present I am based in Goa and from last 25, 20 years actually serving Goa and Konkan Belt, South Maharashtra. South Maharashtra, we have from, I have, I think at present nearly more than 90 farmers all along in Goa and uh, South Maharashtra. We are covering area up to Raigarh district. In Goa, there are small, small farmers of nearly around 1 hectare to maximum of around 5 to 10 hectares. Previously, the farmers, they used to do tiger, as you all know, before we all were used to do tiger. And now, at present, we, like from since 2005, we started all venomiculture. Actually, for the aquaculture industry, is the grace of God that we got venomy and at present successful rates, success rates are more in venomiculture. As a bigger farmer, and being a consultant and uh, being a feed supplier to different uh, farmers. My farmers have got nearly 8 tons, 10 tons, even 15 tons of productions. And I am covering nearly area of nearly 400 acres. So we are more concerned uh, like um, in Goa region, at present farmers, number of farmers is increasing day by day. And um, some like small, small, small farmers which they need a technical support from you. They don't hire uh, aquaculture consultants. So our main aim is to provide a free technical support to farmers and um, give them A to Z. We give them, provide them seed, everything like seed, feed, feed like uh, supplements, farm care products and um, 
Later on, I arranged for the harvest because being a tourist area, Goa is a, being a tourist area, there is a lot of uh, demand for prawns, for fish. There is a lot of demand is there. And uh, so, we uh, cater that and uh, like a lot of farmers, we support them. In Goa, in, uh, in South Maharashtra, like I am covering area of like say Redi, Shiroda, then uh, Kochara, Vengurla, Malwan, then uh, Devgad, Rajapur, Ratnagiri. These are the main area. Then I am covering up to Raigad area also, where we are supplying uh, all ingredients and farmers are, uh, we are supporting them. We have like our in aquaculture, in Maharashtra, South Maharashtra also, the culture is going on from since 90s, 94, 95 they were doing tiger prawn farming. When the small scale farmers got fed up and lot of failures in tiger prawn farming, we supported them. We supported them in lot of means by uh, even by supporting them, giving them feed on credit and some facilities and some lot of. So by that we are increasing their um, profit profitability. That's our uh, like main aim. How to like uh, help farmers. So yeah, please. So helping farmers means when the farmers are there, we are there. See everything depends upon like how farmer is growing. So whole aquaculture industry depends upon the farmers. So I feel uh, that we have to support farmers in all the means and we should, when the farmer is successful, we are definitely successful. We are uh, in our area, like different, different farmers are doing now, different technologies they are adopting like um, now sensors are coming and they are uh, taking uh, like on the mobile app they are getting their uh, all datas like ph uh, so their do and anytime they can uh, see those technologies so we are uh, uh, some farmers are adopting that now i'll just come uh, to uh, like as you know we are all uh, in venami culture pond preparations and all we know better that how we are going and uh, whatever uh, at present, how in, in initially since 2002 when prawn farming was started, like Venami, especially in Venami because we are doing maximum Venami species only. So th the culture was very smooth. You stock and you, the culture was coming. So high profitability, high yield was coming. But since 2000, nearly 14, 15, 16 now actually, there are a lot of problems are coming. So I just go on just mentioning some problems. Just our uh, scientists have to work on that, why these problems are happening and what remedies for that. We are t some remedies we know, we take care, but most of our scientists have to see that why these, some problems are happening. I'll just give an example. Recently, I have just talked. This is 90 days talking. On Sunday, I have done my uh, sampling. So, um, two pounds stocked at the same time. One pound is around 4 lakh and one is around 2 lakhs. So, area-wise, that is 1.5 hectare. This is around nearly one hectare. One pond is having a growth in 90 days. It is 40 count. And one pond is still around 10 grams and heavy size variations. Definitely, it is from the different two sources of hatchery. So, but why it has happened and uh, people, like, um, we have to uh, see that, how it is happening. And a lot of problems are happening now, like, say, uh, size variation, size variation is happening in uh, our Venami culture, maybe because of the EHP and all, white gut problems, running mortality, black gills, black gut, WSSV white spots, and uh, sometimes a problem happens with self-creating problem like less dissolved oxygen, and uh, regular broom cases and also a lot, lot of problems are happening. Yeah, these are the fecal, like white feces and all. And I feel that there is a lot of demand of fish in like uh, being a um, tourist place. There is a lot of uh, demand, like they are uh, asking for fish, like sea bass and some different fishes. Like maximum we are doing the culture of now Venami. So uh, I would request that if we can uh, get some like uh, the requirement of fishes so we can uh, see that thing, like how to supply those things. And uh, I would like to thank you for giving me an opportunity. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you.